have always been of the opinion that a man who desires to get married should know either everything or nothing. <laughs> Which do you know? I know nothing, Lady Brightman. I am pleased to hear it. <laughs> I do not approve of anything that tampers with natural ignorance. <laughs> ignorance is like a delicate, exotic fruit. Touch it and the bloom is gone. Where is the charitable gentleman who had a first-class ticket for this seaside resort find you? In a handbag. <laughs> a handbag? <laughs> yes, Lady Bracknell, I was in a handbag, a somewhat large black leather handbag with handles to it. An ordinary handbag, in fact. In what locality did this Mr. Thomas Cardew come across this ordinary handbag? in the cloakroom at Victoria Station. It was given him in mistake for his own. The cloakroom at Victoria Station? Yes. The Brighton line. <laughs> the precept as well as the practice of the primitive church was distinctly against matrimony. That is obviously the reason why the primitive church has not lost it to the present day. <laughs> And you do not seem to realize, dear doctor, that by persistently remaining single, a man converts himself into a permanent public temptation. Men should be more careful. This very celibacy leads weaker vessels astray. <laughs> and it's proposed to me exactly ten minutes ago. <laughs> is certainly very curious, for he asked me to be his wife yesterday afternoon at half past five. If you would care to verify the incident, pray do so. <laughs> I never travel without my diary. One should always have something sensational to read in the train. It's not laughing, me, darling, but it had always been a girlish dream of mine to love someone whose name was Ernest. There is something in that name that seems to inspire absolute confidence. I pity any poor married woman whose husband is not called Ernest. But my own dear child, do you mean to say you couldn't love me if I had some other name? But what name? Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and does the present day have any really solid qualities, any of the qualities that last and improve with time. <laughs> we live, I regret to say, in an age of surfaces. Come over here, dear. <laughs> Pretty child. <laughs> your dress is sadly simple, and your hair seems almost as nature might have left it, but we can soon alter all that. 